Some duck sauce. Some <laughs> that is pretty bad. Rule number one, folks. Never. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> with special guest Brian Cleary behind the camera. What's Say hi, up? Brian. Hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> Brian is from Commonwealth RE Investments. Commonwealth RE Investments. He just did a rehab in Taunton, was it, right? Yep. And how'd it go? It went well. Smoking. Yeah. Right? Smoking hot. We're at this beautiful house in an undisclosed location in New England, let's say. <laughs> And, uh, well, we're going to start by offering you guys... I'm not going to look at this. I'm just offering you guys oh. some... Oh, wow. Is there anything good in there? Uh, Thank you. no. Is there a wrap? <laughs> no. no wrap. Oh, okay, no wrap. I was hoping there was a cross. I was too. I was too. <laughs> for those of you who've never been inside a hoarder home before, we're going to have a beautiful treat for you. This is going to be so... The thing you can't understand, though, is, again, the scents and the smells of glory that oh, have come yeah. through here. We're here in the garage, and uh, we've got... <laughs> We're doing a rehab estimate here. This was, deal was presented to us as a wholesale deal. Brian uh, brought this one. And uh, we're doing an assessment of what it needs to go through a rehab process. What's up, guys? That's Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, our faithful attorney. Hopefully they know me by now. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've committed B&E at least three times with the neck at this point. <laughs> was this considered a break and enter I did. Whenever the door is basically closed and you don't have permission to go in, it is technically... You said basically closed. What does that mean? Yeah, you're right. It was open. Let's take a nice little gander upstairs. Uh, see what we can see up here. This is this is where the real beauty happens. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to our house of horrors. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was lovely. Oh, Brian. It's time for you to give us a quick tour. Brian's been here now multiple times. Yeah, so uh, here... Uh, here we have your modern uh, open living room. Uh, it just needs some personal touches, <laughs> like cosmetic work. Um, have a kitchen over here. Bedroom is up there, and there's another bedroom in back. There's another bedroom upstairs. All right, we'll take you through the bedrooms real quick first. Hey, as a special side note, uh, if any of you are seeing this house at an undisclosed location in New England, <laughs> this bedroom in particular, it's good for you guys to notice when you walk through these projects, uh, pictures of the floors and ceilings. So this this room in particular is over the garage, and it is sloping considerably oh, yeah. to the uh, exterior perimeter wall, which typically indicates that there would be like a, oh, it's bright. That would be indicating like a failed footing or a failed perimeter foundation, uh, like a, a failed anchor perhaps if the foundation is pulling away from the home. It's really tough to budget for those types of things. So we typically, um, we budget for a, a, like a couple failed footings is what we're really gonna go for. But this is literally one of those houses that if you go in and you don't go out in 15 minutes, people will call the police. Rob, what were you cooking before uh, we got in here? <laughs> What kind of stew is this? Is this oh, stew de plastic? It's very organized though. Right? Yeah. Like you have your plastics here, your Dunkin' Donuts cups here, your Diet Cokes right there, you know? <laughs> there's, a a me there's a method to the madness. I totally agree. It's true. <laughs> Do we open the refrigerator? Oh God. Well, this is it, guys. <laughs> Where is that? Oh. We might as well. Oh, it's, uh, all right. Are we gonna let Brian take the honors? Oh God, hold on a sec. Oh, something wet just got into my shoe. Oh God. Oh no. I didn't wear my steel-toed boot. I don't know who's who am I kidding. I'm not a real man. I don't have those. Rule number one: breaking it. Take a nice wow. whiff. What's in there? It's not even, it's not even that bad. That's. Uh, no, that's pretty bad. All right. Oh so, yeah. Does hot sauce? Does hot sauce? Oh, oh there's that's the smell. Good. That hits you. Folks, rule number <laughs> rule number one. There is there is unsweetened applesauce though. <laughs> oh, that could God. still be good. Oh, there we go. Where's that? I don't see the applesauce. It's I can't get too close. It's pretty bad. Woo! Um, rule number one, folks, never, ever, 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 what? Open a refrigerator. Ever. <laughs> Even in nice houses. Nice, yeah. Okay. Brian, oh, I'm good, I'm good. Good. Brian, where are we going next, or is, is this it? Did we do everything? Uh, we've, we've got some more. Is that, uh, is that urine? 
Um, I hope not. It's possible. It has that yellow twist. It's high tech home security system right here. I don't know what that does, but. Oh, well, that's a the notif notifier. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, ADT. Don't like no need that. It's a nice, nice uh, bathroom back here. Unopened uh, five hour energy, guys. This is a. Oh! Oh, he's, got his, he's got his hood on now. Ooh, I just got some mold yeah, in me. Wow. So, folks, um, Brian's standing right underneath it, so we'll just sort of pan over it for you. This is a lot of, actually, that's, a lot of that's just moisture stains. A lot of that is the black mold right above Rob's head, right there. And, you know, right here. So, it's good stuff. This is good stuff. It's uh, good for you. This is uh, typically, so Brian, uh, is this is your first quarter house, right? My first one. This is your yeah. first one. So pretty, pretty gross. These people, um, on a, well, on a, on a serious note, so um, these are people that uh, I actually, on a personal level, uh, well, I probably shouldn't say that with my mom here. Right, right. But, you know, I grew up in a home that had tendencies, so I kind of know that it, it's uh, it's a definitely a, an illness. It's not something that people intend to do. It's something that makes them feel comfortable, and it is a disease. So... Um, this is typically what people will see if you do go into a hoarder home where they just have collected for years and years and years and years and they organize and a lot of them don't even feel like there's anything wrong, but this is de <laughs> definitely real estate problems for real estate investors to help solve. Sometimes it's a cash offer of their home. Sometimes it's a way to just connect them with the correct individuals like organizers and cleaners and that sort of thing and movers and storage. Um, but really, that's why we're all in this business first. Brian or Rob, since we're here, do you guys want to eat anything? Um, you know, I'm, I ate right before we got here, so I, while it does look good, I think I'm going to pass. Brian, what are your thoughts? I'm good. I took some vitamin C, so. <laughs> all right, deal. <laughs> Fabulous. We'll check in with you guys on the next one. Check us out at CompleteDealFlowSystem.com and AARealEstateGroup.com. Peace out. Shut up and do it. Yes. Woo.